Okay, I'm going to make a quick video. I've had some people ask how to make a bordered font like this with an offset outline to cut like this or you know you could add it to union it to another file or design. So I'm going to make a quick video on how to do this type of offset on font. This is one I've already made up just for an example. It's already converted into a path. And down here I have the text that I used, so I'm going to go ahead and run through the steps that I used to make this. So this is a text. The first thing I'll need to do is convert that to a path, so I'll go object to path. Now that is a group of 12 objects, so I'll need to ungroup it. You can either go object, ungroup, or shift control G, which is the keyboard shortcut. Anytime I rattle off a keyboard shortcut the shortcut is actually displayed in the menu next to the command so that's where you find what shortcuts do what but okay so now I've broken that apart ungrouped it now I can go path union and that's all one path now I want to make a linked offset that's why I typed that out so I'm gonna go path linked offset the first thing I'm going to do is turn my snapping off. I'll show you why. But Now, when I do linked offset, it shows you this little node here and puts you in node editor mode. You'll grab that node and drag it up. And as you can see, it'll start making that look bigger. If you change the color, you can actually see what's going on. That's actually dragging a second path out, the same shape as your font there. If you have your snapping turned on, it will drive you nuts because it will keep doing this when you're trying to... It will keep snapping back to the letter, so always turn your snapping off to save your sanity. Now you pull that node up, and that will create your offset. I try to watch for... Well, one thing, you, you, know, you obviously want your border to be thick enough to be strong. And then another thing, you just kind of watch your font overall you know if it were if I had it down say in try to get it like in this range that's going to create a cut path here that's probably going to be too narrow and tight for a plasma cut so you kind of want to watch spaces like that so you don't have to adjust them later so I'm going to pull that up just a hair farther until that gap there closes up uh, well. I'll get it perfect, but right about there. Okay, now I've made a linked offset here, but I need to convert this to a path. So I'll go path, object to path. And now I don't want these little stray bits that are inside here. You see these little nodes randomly around here. That's where there was a space and my offset was not quite big enough to totally eliminate it. So there's actually a little stray bits of a path there. The easiest way to get rid of those is just go path, break apart, and then path, union. That will eliminate those little stray pieces you have left over in there. So now I have a path that's just an outline of my original font. Now I need to bridge my font. So I will, normally I use at least an eighth inch bridge. On these letters I went a little wider. Just because of the thickness of the letter it makes it look a little better. But go to inches, I went with like 180 thousandths. For the small letters. And I'll stick that in there. Control D to duplicate that. I'll change the color too, that way you can actually see what's going on here. Drag this up a little taller so it'll cut through this D. And change the color of that one so you can see it. Normally I get real OCD and break the letters apart and line these up perfectly center with that center piece, but for the purpose of this I'm just going to put them in there close. On a bigger letter, I this is something probably just being picky too, but this is going to be a bigger piece of steel than this and this. So I'll generally increase the bridge size a little 
more than the lowercase letters, so I think I went with like a 200 thousandths in the example. Just to give it a little more meat to hang on to that center piece there. And I'll roughly center that up. And I'm not going to worry about this E because I'll just duplicate this one and replace that one. That way you're not having to clean up and bridge one letter twice. So I will select these. Go path union or shift control plus. Then I will hold shift and select my font path there and hit shift control minus or path difference is what that is. Now I will come in here. I don't really want to have to fix this little, you know, when I put that rectangle in there it's not going to cut that perfectly right there because that's curved and the rectangle straight I don't want to have to fix it twice on two letters and try to make it look the same so I'll delete select these nodes here in my node editor mode and hit backspace or delete on your keyboard and that gets rid of those and I select these two and smooth those out then I'll select some of these nodes running through here and reduce these just hitting backspace or delete on my keyboard and I'll run around here and get rid of the extra nodes select and smooth the ones that are left you see when I hit that smoothing you can see them change just a little that's making that a nice smooth curve and I don't know if I smoothed that one. Nope. Okay, so now I've cleaned that E up and smoothed it. Now all I need to do is I'll hit Control D and I'll drag this up. I just duplicated that path. Then I can hit Path, Break Apart. Oh no, Object. No, Path. <laughs> Sorry, Break Apart. Then I will select and delete these extra letters all I want is that E. I'll take that, change the color, turn my snapping tool back on and I drag that down here. Well, I have to zoom in a little closer. I'll drag that down here, let that snap to this corner. You want to find a reference point that you didn't change and obviously this corner bit here I didn't change so that snaps there and lines that up. Then I can go to my note editor, select the main font, highlight everything for that existing letter, and delete. Now I can hold shift, select that, and shift control plus or path union. Now I have two bridged E's, don't have to worry about cleaning that one up again. So now you can difference this out by holding shift select the offset we did there and go path difference now I can change the color and that is a path ready to cut you could if if you wanted to you could shift control K or path break apart and you can select this control K select this control K and that is just path to combine and then if I wanted to rearrange these you know in any fashion or union them separately to another piece I could manipulate them around I could just join them together here if I wanted to cut that as one piece that's just a little extra I'm gonna hit control Z and go back to where that was just one path so it's back like the original anyway that is how I went about making this font here with a border ready to cut now the last thing to do as you can see there's a huge difference here I actually missed one I'm gonna join these nodes Hit shift J smooth them but Basically, when you're done, you would want this to look like this for a cleaner cut. Because this is, you know, there's a lot of extra nodes there. So you would want to run around 
and clean these nodes up kind of like I did on that E selecting the ones you don't need deleting them missed one there and smoothing smooth the nodes out you can eliminate nodes but I'm not gonna bore you with the full details of running around cleaning this entire one up I covered that in another video I'll link it in this video so basically I created this font put a border around it you could send this and cut it I don't know why you would nobody would want to cut a link to offset you know design but but you can do any font like this depending on the type of font it may take a lot more work on the bridging or cleanup but take any font you can make a linked offset like this and cut it as a standalone piece or union it to another design and you know like I say the last step would just be cleaning it up so you have a nice clean cut path that you can send to your cutter and get a clean cut uh, thanks for watching hope that helps some people out